warm welcome back tribe super excited to share another video with you in today's video i will share with you how to make delicious tasting almond flour bread and we are also going to talk about some of the health benefits of almond flour over other types of flour kindly like the video subscribe and also share thank you so much these are the ingredients that we are going to need to make our almond flour bread for the dry ingredients, we are going to need almond flour. We're going to need ground flax seed. We're going to need some baking soda and then some salt. And then for the wet ingredients, we're going to need some eggs, some honey, some olive oil, and then some apple cider vinegar. I'm also going to be using some herbs here I have fresh thyme and fresh rosemary. This is optional. If you don't want it, you can leave it out. I'm going to be baking the almond bread in this loaf pan. It's a nine by five. As you can see, I have lined it with parchment paper. This is parchment paper. You may also use something like Baker's Joy to spray the pan with to make it nonstick, or you can oil it or use butter. All we want is for the bread not to stick in the pan. And as far as the tools that you need, you can use two separate bowls, one for mixing the wet ingredients, one for mixing the dry ingredients, something like a spatula, a whisk, some measuring cups. Or if you have a food processor, you can make everything in the food processor. I'm going to be using my Cuisinart food processor today. You don't have to use it. You can use regular bowls and mix by hand, but if you are a gadget freak like I am, you can go ahead and use your gadgets that you invested money in. Step number one is to turn the oven on, set it to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Let me stress again that we are using almond flour in this recipe and not almond meal. There's a difference between the two. Almond flour is made using blanched almond and almond meal is made using almonds with the skin on and this results in something that has a denser texture, a coarser texture. And in recipe where texture matters, such as this one, you want to stick with the almond flour and not the almond meal. We are also going to use some flax seeds, a quarter cup. If you don't have flax seed, that's okay. Just replace the flax seed with more almond flour. Flax seeds are rich in omega-3 fatty acids and also fiber. Our raising agent is baking soda. And then we're also going to add some salt for flavor. So once you put everything in your food processor or in your bowl, you don't have to use the food processor. We're just going to pulse about 10 times to mix. Again, you can use a regular bowl mixed with a whisk. You don't need to have a food processor to make this recipe. Now into our food processor, I'm just breaking the eggs. Again, if you're using bowls, then you mix the wet ingredients into a separate bowl. And when you're done, you just combine the two. I'm using the Cuisinart food processor. I'm going to put a link in the description box below in case you are a gadget freak like me and you want to use convenience in your kitchen. So why is almond flour better than traditional flours, traditional wheat-based flours? Many reasons. Almond flour is very nutritious. It is rich in magnesium, which is an important mineral in the body for controlling blood sugar. It is rich in vitamin E. Vitamin E prevents free radical damage, which means that you do get you get to age, you know, you, you prevent that aging process. Let me put it that way. Um, and it also reduces your risk for heart disease and cancer. Almond flour is gluten free. So if you are sensitive to gluten, then you want to include more almond flour in your diet. But keep in mind that almond flour is very high in calories. You know, it will not spike your blood sugar, but it is high in calories. And therefore, therefore, guys, portion control is the key word here. OK, so we've mixed everything in and now it's time to bake our bread okay so we are going to put it in the oven remember the oven has already been preheating at 350 degrees fahrenheit and so we are going to put it in there for about half an hour to cook it's been 30 minutes let's check on our bread mm. 
we're gonna let the bread cool down in the pan for about half an hour then we're gonna slice it up remember again that almond flour is high in calories and so if you're eating this with something make sure that you know all of the calories uh, we didn't control i'm enjoying mine with some sardines and some vegetables guys if this video is useful to you don't forget don't forget to click on that thumbs up button it's very important thank you for watching and always remember to eat things that love you right back in the amounts that love you right back as well kindly subscribe kindly share and comment below i want to hear from you let me know if you will try this recipe or not if there's something that i left out and you want to you know more clarity let me know it is all about getting well together bye bye